Welcome back to Human Resource Machine. Hello. Storage for next, right? Yep. Go. Yes. Dive right in. Yeah. Big changes are coming. But I see you already know that. Yes, you can now access slots on the floor indirectly. Oh, nice. Oh my god. The character has gray hair already. <laughs> She's oh, old. did that change? Yes. <laughs> she nice. was a girl, like, like a teenager when she came here. I didn't know this. <laughs> and she has glasses. I think that wasn't the case in, in the beginning too. Really? Okay. <laughs> Uh, what does that mean? You will see. It's going to change everything. And why is she still young? I don't know, maybe, maybe she eats your youth. Yeah, yeah, something's wrong here. Okay. Oh, you see? Copy from 12. You see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does it say? Copy from 12. 12 is 8. As the value eight. Well, it's in brackets now. Why copy from two times, but the second time the twelve is in brackets? Yeah, I think it accesses the value in twelve and copies from eight. Actually, step through it and we'll see. So that's copy from twelve. Okay. See. And now it copied from the index twelve. So from the index that is represented in 12. Okay. How do we write that though? Let's see that again. 8. And then it went to 8. Yeah, but I think you can delete the first statement too. If you, st you have to stop, right? Oh, ah, you can switch. switch. Well, delete the first step. Just delete it. Move it. Move it away. This one, totally. Well, don't clear. Just this one. Drag and drop it out. Right. Like this. Yeah. Not no that. Leave that in. And now, now step through it. I think it should just directly grab from twelve. Yeah. See. Because okay. it grabs the reference. Uh huh. Okay. And it grabs the element. Eight. Because there's an eight in the in the reference. Yeah. So that's like our index, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we could call that i, I guess. And it should actually show up as i, like index. Mm -hmm. And it's a zero-based index. So eight is actually here. And if it were a zero, it would be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imagine each thing in the inbox is an address. And each address refers to a tile, 0 to 9, on the floor. Your task for each address in the inbox, pick up, pick up the letter at that address and put it in outbox. So, yeah. So just pick it up. You know, you know what to do, right? Well, pick it up. Oh, well, I, I haven't, uh, haven't listened, actually. You do not listen. Let me, let me repeat it for you. <laughs> Imagine each thing in the inbox is an address and each address refers to a tile 0 to 9 on the floor. Your task for each address in the inbox pick up the letter that address <laughs> at that address and outbox it. Congratulations, you can now access tiles on the floor indirectly. Observe this example to see how it works compared to what you've been doing so far. Okay, I pick up... Yeah, pick up the one. And copy it to the tile. Yeah, I think that's correct. I would do so. Copy two then. Cop copy two, right. And to this one. Mm -hmm. And you want to copy it to the absolute I. And then you want to copy from the relative i, right? Mm, so that's the i in brackets. Mm -hmm. And after that, you outbox it, right? Because now it picks up the letter. Uh -huh. Should, though. 
Okay, then I, I, I don't have to do anything. It's, I don't it's think, yeah. Okay. I think it's okay. Um, and then outbox it right away. Mm -hmm. Then do that for all the items in the outbox. Mm -hmm. Right. So this should do the job. K Dolo. What's K Dolo though? K Dolo. K Dolo. K Dolo. K. Oh, you think this is an item? Yeah, uh, but no, dust. I don't think it is. Dolly. K Dolo. K Dolo. Jer. Jer. Well, the first one is K though. N though. No, no. Ah, you mean? You mean? Uh, After you outbox it, right? Mm -hmm. Olo DK, I have to leave you for a second because the kitchen is ringing. Okay, uh, I'm just I'm just going through this. The cheese melted all over the broccoli. It looks great. Okay, looking forward to it. Unfortunately, we didn't have uh, that much Parmesan. Yeah, probably because I ate a lot of it last night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so seven L and a six again. Well, you could just press play, right? Or do you want to observe it? Yes, I want to observe. Okay. We're done. Okay. That should be a promotion to the next floor, right there. Mm -hmm. Boom, we did it. Size challenge, we nailed it. Speed, probably too though. Yeah, awesome. We could go faster though, we could actually go faster. We could unroll the loop just for one level and that would save something. All right, string storage floor, right. String storage floor. 30 years in business here. Special covert assignment. Oh my it's covert. Management is requesting strings from the floor. Get the tar <coughs> awake is XXX. Let's just process the strings. Process the strings. I thought you were reading what she is saying and it's not really accurate. <laughs> well, get. Oh, uh, get. <laughs> right. You must be very tired. <laughs> and not read or discuss what they say. <laughs> okay. It would be impolite to read messages intended for someone else. And forbidden. All right. Each thing in the inbox is an address of a tile on the floor. For each address provided, the inbox outbox the requested item from the floor and all following items on the floor until you read a zero. Repeat. Okay. So we have one element free that we can store things to. So that's our starting index. So copy to that index. Uh, yeah, copy to the index. But what? What should we copy? We don't have anything in hand. From, uh, right? That is wrong. Okay, that sounds good, but we don't have anything to copy to. There's yeah. something missing. That's right. We have to take something from the box first. Okay. Can we <coughs> name the, the number 24 though? Could we name that? Okay, sure. I'd like to name it I. That's an I. <laughs> right. I know, I know. Like this? Yeah, like that. A K would also have been acceptable. Right, okay. okay. Sometimes I use L. It's a lowercase L. Yeah, so one of these three. Okay. Just select any. <coughs> um, okay, so... For right. an index. Yeah. Okay. 
if I run run out of I and K, <coughs> you need something. If it's a matrix, I use M and N. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You use that in math too. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why I want to use it. Because I want to be math, but I'm not. Mathy. Mathy, yeah. That's just the kind of geek I am. Okay. So, inbox, grab it and print to see how, if it works. Right. Alright. Right, and then put it to the outbox. Put it to the outbox. Right, and we then we have to kind of grab all the following items. So go to the inbox again. Well, we can uh, put start yeah. at the top, but then grab everything from the inbox right to the up. Oh, wait a second. Does it say? Oh, well, you have to grab from the so address? now you you grab the the uh, the T. And you, the next thing you want to grab is the H, because that's the next one, right? If you increment 4 by 1, you get to 5. So you have to grab 5 next. But why increment? I'll box the requested item from the floor and all following, following items, items so on the floor. See, the next one following the 4 is the item 5. So you're going to grab item 5 next. Until you reach a zero. So how do you increment again? You have to... <laughs> wow, how do you increment it? Well, bumps. Bump was increment anything on the floor. Or decrement if you take bump minus. Okay, every following item... So... Well, just uh, bump, bump L and see how it runs. Just check check that. No, not, not the minus bump though, the plus bump after the outbox. Why not minus? Uh, you could also try minus and just see how it runs. After the outbox oh, though. The outbox. Okay. And the L variable. Right. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So just see how it runs. See how it Item. Yeah, and now it walks to the L and kicks it, right? So now it's three. So it went to the other direction. See? Mm -hmm. And if you grab whatever's in 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 there now, yeah, you would end up with uh, something else, right? You would end up with a zero. Ah, you... okay. It says all the following, not the previous items. Yeah, that's. Yeah. You that's should true. you should also be able to read things. <laughs> yeah, reading is actually it's, it's hugely so important. You don't realize how important reading is until you have to actually read. Yeah. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the things you never do in the universe unless someone comes to visit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I see. So this is not a bump pl minus, but a bump plus to the L. Yeah. And until if zero, shall we st shall we move on? Well, stop out. Yeah, just just, just use a normal jump, jump, maybe. Okay. And and see when the if zero actually makes makes sense, just from the feel of it, feeling of it. From the feeling. Of it. Yeah, just just so clearly you have to jump somewhere, but just see if jump zero actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. But now it. Now it would have five in hand, right? Mm -hmm. Because it kicked it, so jump if zero would not make sense there, right? Because it will have five in hand. Mm -hmm. But you want to jump, defi you definitely want to jump, not just if it's zero. Yes. So but Why do, is not enough stuff in the outbox? Not enough stuff in the outbox. Yeah, the program is clearly not finished, that's what it's saying. No, oh, okay. That's the only problem. Okay, you yeah. want to jump, but not if zero. Jump first. I just want to jump anyway. Now we have a five in hand, so the next thing we have to do is like pick up the thing on five, right? Mm -hmm. So copy, jump to copy from. I guess so. Jump, yeah, I think so. Yeah, see how it goes. All right, four. 
Bump. Right, bump, jump, and yeah, grab the oh. L, see? Now comes the next thing. And you jump there, you go there, and it's a zero. Okay, now. Now, zero. now you wanna check for zero, right? Okay, if zero, what does it do? Items on the floor, do you reach zero? And then yeah. you repeat. You don't put the zero in the outbox. That's you do, I don't, I think you don't put the zero in the outbox. Okay. So if it's actually jump if zero after you picked up the thing from the floor, right? Here. Yeah, and if it's zero, you take the next word. So you, uh, you, so you go all the way. I think to so. To the top and repeat. Yeah, and just a quick note though. Mm -hmm. You see the letters are printed in blue, and the numbers are, are in green. So theoretically, you could have a blue zero. And I would bet that the blue zero does not count as zero. Mm -hmm. All right. But what about the zeros in the out inbox, though? The zero in the inbox would would send you to G. Ah, okay. This is not a. That's not zero, a stop condition. The value is. Yeah, it's not. Okay, it's those are all in the in indices, right? Okay, that sounds good. Maybe you could press the play button. Yeah, well, not actually, just yeah. T. Right, and it did it. Okay. The. Tar. <laughs> the target. Target. Oh wow. Oh, are that's, the robots sending a us a message? Target X X X X X is oh god this is the the suspense is killing me is awake <laughs> oh god <laughs> the target is awake we're we're some this is some kind of monstrous machine. All the workers have and been now taken over. X X X T What's thirteen? T A Heek Oh over. take. Take 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 the gun. <laughs> take the Take this? Take this. X. X. Take mm. this. That's an actual story behind There's some the story message. here. Yeah, and we finished the size challenge. Wow. And the step and the speed challenge. And the speed. Well, I'm impressed actually. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Stringer verse. Should, should we try that one? Okay, but we really have to go to the broccolis. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. Ole. Uh, ole. Ole. Hello. Oh, we cannot speak though. Ja, dat oi era wo. What? Ja, dat oi era wo. Ah ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Now seriously. <laughs> For each zero terminated string in the inbox, reverse it and put the result in the outbox. Repeat. Haven't we done this already? I don't think so. A string reverse. Yeah. You you take goat and you have to put to the outbox tog. Okay. So, so take one thing. Take one thing, yeah. Take one thing and put it to to zero actually, but we kind of have to generate the zero, right? It has to be the index because we're incrementing the index. See, G O H T. We don't know how long the word will be. Mm -hmm. It could be thirteen letters long. Yeah. <coughs> so you have to grab it and put it to the um, copy two. Copy two, definitely copy two. To this. 
I think so, but we have to switch the copy to command to mean index. So you just click it. Oh yeah, or you just I okay. Okay. And copy to you need to click it, and there's like a toggle button if you click it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we copy it to, and then we have to bump. We have to bump I. So bump it, right away. Right before we grab the next one, right? Because it has. Cause we just put it to zero. Uh -huh. The next thing, next thing should go to one. Yeah. So we need to bump it and then loop. But don't we put the G to zero first before we bump anything? Oh yeah. So bumping would be step three, because copy two is now. We the the copy two puts zero to zero, oh, okay. and then we would bump. Right. And then we bump. Then then do we have the bumped value in hand, or do we have G in hand? Then? We would have the bumped value in hand, but we don't need the bump value. We just need this to read one. So that's the thing that we're after, not after the value in hand, right? Well, don't we have to put the G down first? Well, step through it, step through it. Okay, now what? Now the O should go to 1, right? Yes, that's right. So if we go to the inbox and grab it now and put it to I, that would overwrite G. Because I is still 0. Oh, now I see. Okay. That's why I say bump it, right? Mm -hmm. If you uh, yeah, just stop and if you bump, bump it now, it would be one. Uh, actually, you bump up that one. Yeah. Yeah. Number fourteen. Yeah, that's that's right. The variable I want to bump. Right. W. Now we bump. And now, if we grab the next one from the inbox, we can just repeat what we just did. Yeah. Okay. But I forgot what zero terminated, uh, what we have to do. Well, just test it, right? Just step through it. So we have an A. Mm -hmm. So one. Now we, now we grab an R and puts, we put it down to R, right? Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Now to, um, now we grab M, put it down, right, now bump, right? Mm -hmm. And now we go to the inbox, grab the next thing. Okay. Yeah. Next and that's the zero termination, right? So if we now have a zero in hand, yeah. that's that's wrong. Well, that, we that's, don't have to have we, we now start to output things. Uh, before we output the zero, we have to throw it away, right? Yeah, we don't output the zero though. The next thing we want to put to the outbox is the M. It's the M. So whatever we do now, we, we need to jump out of the loop that we're currently in. Right? Mm -hmm. So exactly after we pick things up from the inbox, we check if they are zero. Zero. And if they are, we jump to someplace else. Okay. So if zero? Yeah, after the, yeah. After the bumping? No, 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 after the inbox. Yeah, after the inbox, yeah. We jump to somewhere else, somewhere else. outside the loop. Outside the loop, and now we can do so the second part of the program. Okay, so, uh, the um, reverse streaming. So, um, I was at that point in the last time we did it, um, well, I could just do what was lying here now. It would say new. Right, mm -hmm. new, and this the the index went from zero to one to two, and now it's actually three. Right, so it it would display new here, and that will be three. And we want what we want to do is grab the two. Mm -hmm. so, so do we bump the other way? You bump the other way. Yeah, right. Okay. I don't know what we. Yeah, no. If you bump minus now. I think we have the two in hand. Mm -hmm. um, minus bump minus. Right, the but the i. The index. Not the index though. Oh, not the index. Wait a second. Yeah. Not the index. The I variable. You want to bump the variable. 
in the, in the second, no, you don't know where it, it ends. Well, we know that uh, when we jump out of the loop mm -hmm. and we bump minus it, we, ha we have an in the variable reads the index of the last element, right? Mm -hmm. So we, now we can copy the last element, that's what I'm saying. So we leave or, or the just, Or just try the new, just, just step through it and you see. Right? N U U face what? New, right? Put it down. You bump the I, because you expect a fourth element. As it turns out though, if you jump, next one is actually a zero. So you jump out of the loop. Now you bump minus the I and have a two in hand. We, and I now reads two. So if you copy like from the index now, mm -hmm. you would have the new, the, the W, right? Mm, okay. Copy from, this is the index? Yeah, but the index where the I is, so the, the variable I, yeah. And uh, so you do this until now you have it in hand. So in, now you should put it to the outbox, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then you probably loop again. Nope. This. Right. And and when would you end though? Yeah, that's the question. Uh, if the index is zero. If the index is zero, you still have to pick up the element. Element and put it in the outbox. So I don't know. Okay. Let's see first. I'm actually quite hungry. Yeah, me too. You can turn up the speed so debugging is faster. Just. Yeah. Okay, it says lake. Which is good. I like lakes. In general, okay. So yeah, we bump minus it. Sure. Now you copy, put it into the outbox. Okay. Now put it in the outbox. Yeah. And then. And then you should, if you bump minus it, you actually have a minus one in hand. So you. Yeah. So. You don't want if it's one. negative now, you would have it negative now, right? Yeah. So you would uh, actually, if it's negative, you want to jump out of the loop. Yeah. Okay. Jump out of the loop. Out of the second loop. To where and though? You need to make it one again, uh, zero again, so it has the same starting condition as before. Uh huh. And then you loop to the inbox again. Okay, loop out, yeah, then, jump, and yeah. then bump it up again to yeah. zero, yeah. and then start start from from the top. From the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, if negative. Well, after the bumping though, right? After the bumping. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jump out of the loop, bump up. So it would read zero then. Uh, bump this one up. You're bumping the index now, but you want to bump the variable. Uh, okay, okay, that's that. that's a tricky, tricky thing. Yes, yes, you have to get used to it actually. Yeah. Not thinking like this. Yeah, just you can't automatically click on index or not index. You really have to think about what mm. you want to use it for, because yeah. you have kind of a choice between two type, two different types of usage now. Yeah, and then you jump up to the inbox and again. And then you jump and loop from the beginning. Yeah. And I think you can just press play and leave it on. Well, let let's see let's let's see her walk. Get a little bit down with the speed. And but press play so we see her walk. Okay, think twice. Think time. I think it just does anything. <laughs> Okay. I did not see the bumping this time, but... Alright. 
I love the little arrow. You see that? An arrow? The arrow right now. Mm -hmm. The floor always starts at zero and this is actually how memory works, right? There's a memory address zero and there's a memory address one and memory address... Mm -hmm. You mean in programming? Because? Yeah, in programming, yeah. Oh. Okay, there it is. You think we've made it? I don't know. Nah, just barely. Got this. Oh, One step enough. too many. Good enough. Okay. Well, good enough. Now I won't click. Oh, they have a break too. Uh, well, it's we would have to do the inventory report though. Let's yeah. save that up for next time. Yeah. Because I I'm really hungry. Yeah right. So right. guys, uh, we are heading for our lunch. If no you dinner, like broccoli, <coughs> please thumbs up. So ne no one. <coughs> it's all no thumbs down now. <laughs> no one likes broccoli. Yeah. See you in the next video. Bye. Right. Bye.